hi and welcome to the new tutorial on google earth engine today i will try to discuss about how you can easily determine of build up area using remote sensing in google earth engine platform okay so first of all there are lots of index for the analysis of built up area suppose you can also use the ndbi it means the normalized difference built up index you can also use the built up index or bu index you can also use the urban index index based build up index okay and you can also use the enhanced build up and bareness index so there are all of this index for using the analysis of build up area okay so in this case i will use the build up index so i will try to use this index and determine the build up area okay so first of all build up index is the index for analysis of r1 pattern using the ndbi and ndvi okay so it has the two new term ndbi and ndvi ndbi means normalized difference build up index and ndbi means normalized difference visitation index so when you calculate the built up index or bu index then you also calculated the ndbi and ndvi okay and build up index is the binary image with only higher positive value indicate the build up and bear okay so it's the high positive value indicate the build up and bear and we can use as easily build up index or bu index to map the build up area automatically okay we can use this index and we can get the automatically build up area using this build up index so today i will use this index in google earth engine so that we can easily get the build up area okay so first of all we should know what's the equation or formula of build up index so this is the equation for build up index it's the ndbi minus with ndvi okay when you subtract with ndvi and ndvi between two things then we can get this result of build up index okay so now we also should know what's the ndbi and ndvi so here you can see this is the ndvi formula ndvi formula is that it's the, the subtract with short wave infrared and near infrared band and it's also divided by two of the sum of this band okay and it's the ndvi formula you can see here this is the near minus red divided by sum of the two band near plus red okay so this is the ndvi formula so now we also discuss some thing about the normalized difference build up index or ndvi so mainly ndvi it's indicating it's indicating the high positive value indicating the build up area okay so this is the formula we all already know that formula here the two band will be needed the band is the short wave infrared and near infrared band when you use the normalized difference between two band then we can get this result for ndbi okay so for lancer 7 when you use the lancer 7 then you need to use here the band 5 and band 4 because the band 5 indicating the short wave infrared and band 4 it's indicating the near infrared for Landsat 7 satellite data and when you use the Landsat 8 data then you use the band 6 and band 5 because band 6 is indicating the short wave infrared for the Landsat 8 images and also band 5 is indicating the near infrared band for the Landsat 8 satellite data so you can see here the there are the two satellite Lens set 8 and lens set 7 this is the different equation so just you can re remember this equation and put this equation and get this result okay so the normalized difference build up index this value between the minus 1 
2 plus 1 and the negative value of NDVI represent the water bodies okay whereas the higher value represent the build up areas and NDVI values for vegetation is very low when you can get the very low value of NDVI it's indicating the vegetation okay so now we also discuss about the NDVI so NDVI is the normalized difference vegetation index it's indicating the dense vegetation it's higher positive value indicating the dense vegetation okay so you can see this is the formula here we need the two band near near and red band for Landsat 7 you can see this is the formula for Landsat 7 we also know uh, we also know that near infrared band is the band 4 and red infrared band is the the band 3 okay so here you can see the two band and this equation also for the Landsat 8 data you can see here this equation we already know that the NDVI band for Landsat 8 data you can see band 5 it is indicating the near infrared band and band 4 it is indicating the red band for Landsat 8 satellite data. So mainly Landsat the NDVI values varies from minus 1 to plus 1 and higher the value of NDVI reflects the higher infrared band and it present NDVI value when minus 1 to 0 it represent the water bodies it represent the water bodies and when the NDVI value minus 0 0.12 point plus 0 0.1 it represent the bare barren rock sand and so on and when the value will be 0 0.2 to 0.5 it represent the shrub grassland on or sensing crops okay and when the NDVI value 0 0.6 to minus 1 it represent the dense vegetation or tropical rainforest so i hope you get some idea uh, this slide and uh, what's the ndvi and what's the ndbi and we also get the equation using this here and now we want to use this equation in google earth engine and get the result for the built up index so now i will go to my code editor and write this code so i simply open my code editor here you can see here i already use a satellite data for whole bangladesh this is the landsat 8 satellite data i use here so now i want to make now now i want to determine from this satellite images for the built up index or bu index okay so first of all we need to select our specific band okay so in this case you can see here i use the landsat 8 images and for this you can find your equation so i will go to my slide and you can see here for landsat 8 data we use here the band 5 band 4 for ndvi and if you want to check for the ndvi we use the band 6 and band 5 okay so first of all we need to select our specific band we need to for ndvi we need to use here the two band 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 4 and band 5 and for ndvi we need to use here the band 5 and band 6 actually we need to band 4 5 6 okay we need to use the three band band 4 band 5 and band 6 for calculating the ndvi as well as also calculating the ndvi so first of all we need to select the our band 4 band 5 and band 6 using uh, from the landsat 8 satellite data so i simply select in my code editor so i simply use a variable suppose in this case i get this variable name is image and then i simply use here the image dot select i simply select and i make a list for this i use here the square bracket and put here my band b6 then i use here the b5 and i also use here the b4 so in in this case you can see here 
the bin B6, this band indicating the short wave infrared one and B5, it is indicating the near infrared and V4, it is indicating the red. So, you can see here, I select my specific band, okay. And if you want, you can rename this band, okay. So, you can do not understand easily what is the B6 means. So, now I want to rename this band name and after when I use this band, just I use the name, okay. So, I simply make the another list here and I put the name, suppose in this case B6 indicating the short wave infrared. So, for this I use here the SWIR, this is the short wave infrared and then B5, it is indicating the near infrared, I simply use here the NIR and then I use here the B4, it is indicating the red band, I simply use here the red. So, now you can see here, I select my specific band, which band I needed for calculating the NDBI and NDVI and then I also rename this band name, okay. So, now I easily computed the NDBI and NDVI, then I calculated the build up index between two things, between two subtract with NDVI with NDVI, then I can get this result. So, for this first of all, I can compute the NDVI. So, we can compute it any equation in Google Earth Engine. There are the many ways you can use the equation, directly equation. If you want, you can use the function. If you want, you can use the expression, okay. So, you can use the any method. It is totally depend on you. So, in this case, I use here the equation or directly use the function. In Google Earth Engine is a function, this function name is normalized difference. It is indicating the calculating the normalized difference between two band. So, first of all, I want to calculate the NDVI and we already know that you can see this is our formula for NDVI. This is the subtract with band 5 and B, uh, B4, you can see here band 4 and also divided sum of the two band, okay. So, I can easily use this equation or if we, if I want, I can use here the directly function normalized difference and if you want, you can use the Google Earth Engine expression for calculating this equation. So, I can use here the function here directly. So, I simply use here the a variable name and I gap this variable name is NDVI, I use this variable name is NDVI and then I select my image collection. So, in this case my image collection variable name is image and then I use the select function and after using this sorry, you, then I need to use here the normalized difference function. This is my function. this is the function normalized difference. So, now I which band I want to use the normalized difference. So, in this case I want to use the NDVI and we already know that when I use the NDVI we need to use the two band this band is near infrared band and red. So, I simply use a make a list in this case I simply put here the near and then I also put here the another band this band name is red. So, you can see here, I use the normalized difference function, this function calculated the near minus red, then divided by near plus red, okay. So, I just use this function and this function will be calculated the normalized difference of near and red and I can get this result for NDVI, okay. So, now I want to show this result in my map interactive view. So, for this I can easily do it, suppose I use here the map.add layer function and then I call my object NDBI, this is the object name and then I use here the visualization parameter. I want to get the mean NDBI result will be minus 1 and max NDBI result will be plus 1 and I also use here the color plated and make a list 
suppose I want to get this result which will be minus 1 or below minus 1 then get the color will be blue it is indicating the water ok. So, I use here the blue and then I also use here the white color and and which result will be 1 or more than 1 1 or uh, then I then this is the uh, indicating the tense vegetation and it will be green ok. I also gap this layer name is NDVI. So, you can see here I make this code and when I click to the run a new layer will be added here and I can from this code I will get this result for NDVI ok. So, it will be appeared. So, now you can see our NDVI result will be appeared and here you can see the this the green color will be indicating the dense vegetation ok. And uh, also also you can see here the white color will be indicating the bare land or water or built up area ok. So, mainly in this case I indicating the dense vegetation I can this NDVI higher value indicating the dense vegetation and we already discussed in this case you can see our slide in NDVI we discuss the different type of NDVI values you can see here minus 1 to 0 it represent the water bodies and minus 0 1, uh, point 0.1 to plus point 0.1 it represent the barren rock sand and so no and we also uh, it will be 0 0.2 0 0.5 it represent the shrub grassland and sand sand crops and 0 0.6 to 1 it represent the dense vegetation or tropical rainforest. So, now if you want to check this result you can simply go click to inspector tab and click on the map suppose I simply click on this here it will be a fair you can see. So, when I click to here we can get this specific point result you can see this NDVI value will be negative and it is indicating the water body ok. And when I click to the dense vegetation you can see the green portion will be available for the dense vegetation and you can see it will be positive value ok. So, I can get this NDVI result ok. So, I can get this NDVI result and then I also need to calculate the NDVI it means the normalized difference vegetation index. So, we can go to our NDVI slide you can see here this is our NDVI and this is the formula. This formula is that you can see here band 6 and band 5 ok. So, now you can use the any method if you want you can use the directly equation if you want you can use the function or if you want you can use the earth engine normalized difference function or if you want you can use the expression for calculating the equation ok and get this result. So, now I calculating it. So, I use here the expression suppose I want to use here the expression for calculating the NDBI or normalized difference built up index. So, for this I take a variable suppose I take a variable I take the variable and this variable name I gap, gap this variable name is NDBI and now I want to use here the expression and this expression I use here suppose I sub simply I call my image collection name then I use here the expression and after this I simply put here my expression. So, in this case my expression is that I want to my expression is the short wave infrared um, minus near infrared then divided by short wave infrared plus near infrared ok. This is my simple equation and now I want to introduce this equation every value. So, first of all short wave infrared what is the short wave infrared is the S W I R it is short wave inf infrared indicating the band uh, our band the short wave infrared band and it is come from our image. So, I use here the image and use the select function and then I simply put my band name you can see here I already put this band name S W I R. 
so i simply use here the swir and then i also use the same thing with for the near infrared band so i simply use here the nir and introduce this band name is that it come from the image collection and then i use the select the specific band and then i simply use the band name you can see this is the red band i simply use the red band so now you can see i defined the expression and after this expression i introduce all of this extra expression variable one by one so then i want to show this result so i simply use here the map dot add layer function and then I simply call the object NDBI and after this I use here the visualization parameter I want to get this result from minus 1 and get maximum result will be plus 1 and I also use here the color plated and for this I make a list so suppose in this case we already know that we already know that you can see here we already know that I will go to my slide. We already know that the normalized difference build up index value between lies minus 1 to plus 1. So, that I use here the mean result will be minus 1 and max result we also set here the plus 1 and negative value of NDVI represent the water bodies. So, negative value is representing the water bodies and high value representing the build up areas. Okay, And NDVI value for visitation is very low. So, in this case you can see here the negative value indicating the water bodies okay and for this i use here the a color plated for blue because it negative and then i also use here the another color suppose it indicating the i use here the green and i also use here the high high ndbi values indicating the build up areas i want to use here the red color okay so, I also gave this layer name is NDBI. So, when I click to the run, you can get the another layer will be appear right in this case and I can get this result for normalized difference build up index. So, it will be appear right. So now you can see it will be apparent and this result you can see here the blue color indicating the low NDBI it's indicating the water bodies and also you can see here the our our sum of this result you can see here the red color will be indicating the the build up area okay so you can see here it will be apparent. So, if you want, you can simply click to here the water body. You can get this NDBI result will be, you can see, it will be NDBI result will be negative or very low result. We can get this from here. Okay. So, we can calculate it from the NDBI and also in a calculate it, you can see here that we can get the some bare land or build up area from here. So, now I want to calculate the built up index. So, we can go to our slide. You can see here, this is our, this is our built up index and this built up index is mainly used for the two term NDBI and NDVI. And, and you can see here the NDP, ND built up index, the high positive value indicating the built up or barren. Okay. So, you can see here this is the equation. So, we already calculated the NDBI and NDVI. Then I want to calculate this equation easily and I can get this result for build up index. So, I simply go to my code editor and then I simply use here the variable. Suppose in this case I use this variable name is BU, it means built up index. And then I simply use here my call my NDBI. This is the NDBI with subtract, subtract with NDBI and I can get this result. And when I use the map dot add layer function and simply use here the BU and then I simply use here the mean. I want to mean result will be uh, start from minus 1 and max result and max result will be plus 1 and I also set here the color plated. 
color plated i want to set this result here it's indicating you can see here it's the high positive value for build up index indicating the bare land okay so i simply use here the color suppose i in this case i use here the color will be blue then i use here the color white and finally i use here the color will be red so red color it's indicating the high built up area okay it's indicating the high value high positive value indicating the build up area so i also get this layer name this layer name is bu so when i click to the run so now i can get here the another layer and this layer indicating the build up index so you can see here it will be appeared in this case So in this case you can see here our built up index will be appear right in this case the red area will be indicating the built up area so in this case you can get this result for your ndvi our build up index area you can see here it will be appear right and now if you want you can easily export this map using this function suppose you want to export this tip format i use at the export image to try you can see all of this information about this uh, you can put one by one information you can easily export this map result and you can use this map result for other software just arc map or qjs and you can easily make this map so in this case i will try to show you how you can easily calculate the build up index okay so you can see here and find out the bare land and build up area so you can see here there are the lot of equation or for the uh, uh, determine the build up area so you can use the any equation just you need to know what's the equation of uh, all of this okay so in this case i will try to show you this part built up index and you can easily calculate it other index for calculating the built up area okay so i hope you can easily understand all of these things and if you have any question then you can ask me in comment section so that i can easily answer all of these things okay and i also have a announcement for this so you can see here our new course or new training will be start from the 23rd to 4th december 24th december from eto you can see here from 9 pm until 12 am okay gmt plus 6 this class will be held on the zoom and in this course i mainly focus those people who don't know any programming language and art engine function and after completing this course you are able to remote sensing analysis very quickly and efficiently using the google art engine platform you can see here this is the registration form link you can easily go to this link and complete this registration okay then you can easily join with these classes okay so if you have any question i also add my i uh, add this uh, registration link in this video comment section so that you can easily complete this registration and join with me live class okay so if you have any question then you can easily ask me in comment section as well as if you can easily contact with me my email and whatsapp number i also provide this email and whatsapp number in my description video description you can easily contact with me okay so thank you for watching this video